that's how it all goes down. Fat little kid from Bridgeton Town. Blessed with a vibe the world should know. Channel 4 said he's a G and should have his own show. Off come scared what a G might say. Brought man like Mo to ride the wave. No kinky thing on TV, no way. Rastafari stands alone. Jaja City. Big up everyone. What about my team? Big up everyone in the building. <laughs> the big nasty show back for season two, you know. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Bringing in my co-host, my co-host Lord to my Nando's. You done know. <laughs> Mo Zekel, Mo Sire. Make some noise for a man like Mo. <laughs> <laughs> Season two and all of that. Series two. <laughs> series two. Who would have thought it, boy? But you see, for series two, because that like, obviously series two. If you guys don't know, I have an earpiece. You don't have an earpiece. So what I've done, saved up a bit of money, <laughs> and I've got you an earpiece this time. So you've got your own earpiece. It's a black earpiece as well. Oh. Yeah. So there you go. That's for you. It's an earpiece. It's earpiece. Yeah, it's an earpiece. Yeah, I respect that, but I wouldn't wear your earpiece. This earpiece, yeah, doesn't show my personality. What would you want? Like, you want, you want like a bust down earpiece? No. <laughs> How about this, Rick? This is the kind of earpiece. There you now go. Now we're talking, cuz. So I'm bossy, cuz. Yeah? Yeah, cuz. No, a bossy earpiece, cuz. No, but you it? know what? On the real, though, we need to make sure series two goes well. So I'm not trying to go on London Live or <laughs> any of these random, do you know what I mean? What Five mean? star and stuff like that. I want to go on the African channel, cuz, after Sky Movies. I want to be Nigerian Batman. Yeah. <laughs> You've been violating. You've been violating. <laughs> anyway, let's get this show on the road. It's time for some vibes. Hello, hi. Hi, hi, hello. What a blow. Mm -hmm. Big up the big nasty show. Got a time from Queer Eye on the Rough Plus show. Grammy winning star like Daisy Cooper on the show. Got Stephen Dorff from Blade on the show. We got music like Yes from Devlin and Gex. Yeah. Channel 4, Friday night, a big boy smash. smash you know thing. my show will be a weird one. Red First one. of all, I'm going to bring in Dennis Rodman. Make some noise for Dennis Rodman! You You're actually fucking cool, innit? You good? Yeah, man. Yeah, okay. Glad to have you on my show. Have okay. a seat. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. So, Rod my style, you know. Huh? You're a sick brother, you know, cos I respect it, cos you're a powerful guy, cos you're doing major stuff. The nose rings is fucked up, but you're on some major fucking shit, <laughs> Five times champ, two times all star. Let them know something, bruv, to worm. To let you know. Mm. I have no clue what the fuck he's saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just letting you know. I swear to God, I have okay. no clue. Uh, I'll I, I, I don't know you. what he's saying either. I'll just like, yeah. No clue. Yeah. So, now, Dennis, you're one of the greatest basketball players um, of all time. You was in, like, I think you's, I'd say you're one of the most played the greatest teams. You, Pippin, Jordan. You know, actually, you know, when I played for Chicago, we never actually talked off the court. For real? Oh, really? For three years, we never talked off the court. I've heard he's a bougie brother, like, well, like... He was a good guy, man. He was a good guy, him, Scotty, all those guys. They was good guys. So you lot didn't talk off the court, no? We never did. Ah, uh, see, if you would have spoke, you would have been in Space Jam. <laughs> I was in Space Jam. You was in Space Jam? I was in Space... Yeah, I was there. I was there. Where? Yeah. Where? <laughs> <laughs> I was no, there. no, I'm in there. You got to go to, like, the yeah. one hour, right. 27, 16 seconds. <laughs> Are you, are you really in Space Jam? Yep. What, what part? What part are you in? <laughs> no, 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 I'm not even trying to mug, I swear to you. He was a cartoon character. He was a cartoon character? Yep. Which one? The blue, the blue tooting? <laughs> <laughs> I was in, just trust me, I was in it. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, but anyway, so when I me and Michael never talked, yeah. we, was, we was in Toronto, right? I was dating uh, Carmen Electra. We was in my hotel room. I was next to Mike. We had this, had this big suite. Mike had this big suite. He was doing his gambling. So I'm over there in my room, and Mike knocks on the door. I'm having sex with Carmen, right? Mm. Having sex. So as you do, Mike, as you do. Mike, 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 having Mike, sex with Carmen, he said. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are yeah. you talking mad deep? Cause you talking about sex? Cause it's too loud? Cause this guy knows. <laughs> <laughs> So Mike comes in the room, and next thing you know, Carmen comes in a towel, stuff like that. All of that. Out. <laughs> so Mike said, oh, "Hey, hey, Carmen, do you have any, do you have any sisters?" And uh, next thing you know, two days later, her sister comes. You know how shit works in the NBA. <laughs> what? Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Did you just switch? Did you just switch? <laughs> What, what? No, no, no. Did you just fucking snitch? Did I you just fucking snitch? snitch? No, 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 no. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit about that. No, bro code. Bro fucking code. <laughs> Everyone just calm down. Everyone just calm down. Did you just snitch on the man? That... <laughs> but then, saying that, Michael's not here to defend himself, though, so... Oh, no, it's, it's, nothing, it's nothing bad. He didn't do anything. I'm just saying he just asked me, do you have a sister? Like, if, if you read my first book, you know, mm. uh, life is in the NBA, in sports, it's like 50% sports, 50% sex. Mm. Pretty much, shit. That's the way it is, right? If you're gonna marry an athlete... No, but not sex you know, in you, every If you're gonna marry an athlete, I don't give a fuck who you are, right? What do you mean, those well, guys that do balls, balls, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> no, not every athlete, not every athlete, man. What, you guys? what the guys that walk like this? This guy's this guy. <laughs> hey, we see it, we see it, you all right, yeah? <laughs> well, you Just got, the top athletes, well, not you, the all the athletes. Well, you got the Dodge Championships, right? okay? You got the, you got the Dodge Championships. Have you right? seen what the guys look like? They're playing dogs. That's insane, though. They man, go, like they Bill the mad. Power Taylor is not getting Beyonce, you know? <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you mean, bro? He might have personality, my dude. Oh, okay, okay. What do you, mean? <laughs> 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 oh, you broke your penis three times, true weapon. Yeah. And hear what I'm trying to say. But to break the penis, yeah, your taekwondo <coughs> whap must be powerful, fam. Yep. And how did it happen? I did it on my boat, right? So this girl's, you know, we have all drunk and shit. Next thing you know, we're on the boat. She said, oh, dude, why don't you do something for me? You really fucking fucked up. I said, great, what's, it, what's up? She said, she said, why don't you go on the front of the boat, go on the front of the boat and just dive on me. So, <laughs> so, so, so I run, 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 run. Sex. I run. <laughs> next thing you know, you know, I kind of try, 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 boom, jumped on top of her. Click. Oh! <laughs> oh my so it's a, it was so funny though because it popped and next thing it come back and it swells way the fuck up like this, like oh. that. And the next thing you know, all blood just coming out. It's just blood. Oh shit! I mean blood like that. And the girl she's it's freaking out. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I said she thought I was dying and shit. I said I'm just sitting there, you know, drinking a beer and shit, you know. Hey uh, man, that's. That, that, that. <laughs> The second time when I was playing, we were playing in Houston, and this girl flew in from uh, Germany, hot girl, right, model. All of a sudden, she wants to do this fucking real crazy shit. She's on top of the, the desk. When you say crazy, what do you mean crazy? What did she do that? Like? What do you mean that? out of the box freakers? What's wrong with you? No, she bro? said she was doing crazy stuff. Yeah, game, crazy. No, no, because she's saying, because obviously you broke it the, the first time, yeah? So right. you would have been like, hold on, I broke it before, so what are you doing that's crazy? Because let's take well, our time. Well, he's not holding back on the thrust. You're on some hold back. No, nah, bro, if I broke my penis, that's what do you want me to do? Bro, he's flipping on the pom pom. <laughs> what do you mean, bro? What do you mean, bro? Like, do you know what I mean? Because I would have been come on tennis, I want to do something dirty today, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I would have been like, hold on, wait. Wait, wait. Hey, go on, but yeah, so go on, carry on. So anyway, she jumps off the, off the, uh, the counter and all of a sudden... Okay, Whoa, it, it, wait, it, it, hold on a sec. What do you, hold on a sec. <laughs> she jumped off a counter. Yeah. And you like, all thought like that was all right. Something like that right there. Why are you doing this, bruv? What's what for what? Like some WWF sex and all that. So she jumped off the counter, yeah? And then it broke again. And it broke again? Uh, so it broke again. So that, that's on you, though. You should have been like, hold on, wait, 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 wait. I'm going to that's on you. Down from the counter. I've done a lot of crazy stuff with girls. On a deeper level, your two brethren's here yeah, are two major ops. You've got Donald Trump as a close friend. Right. Yeah? And you've got the original bad man, Kim Jong-un. When that's you're with cool. Kim, can you actually tell him how you feel? Like, if you disagree with something, he or if you disagree you with... You know what? You know what, dude? Seriously, you know, I say this a lot to people. I say, you know what? Me and Kim are so, so, so close. I went to his birthday party on his yacht. 
He has a yacht. Yes, he does. He's rich as fuck. So, so you know, like, we're in the country. Boat. So I said, um, so we're going around the table. It's like 80 people around the table doing toast, toast, toast to him. So it comes to me. He said, yeah, Dennis, you want to do a toast? I said, yeah. <laughs> Literally, I didn't know what the fuck I was going to say. I said, you know what, Kim? He said, I love you, dear. I said, but your father and your grandfather were fucking nuts. <laughs> but you're cool as fuck. That's why I told him, show you this face. And he just started laughing. <laughs> he just started laughing. He's like, I said, you're fucking nuts. But you're, but, you're, but you're cool. I said, you're cool, though. And that, that right there showed me, he said, Dennis, you're the only American that was, has ever respected us. I said, I know. I know. I don't care. And also, I think that, you know, we need to have a lot of peace around the world right now, man, because in America, we are fucked up, man. We're so divided. So how, do, how does how the American people treated you, like, when you first started getting your relationship so close with Kim Jong? Well, Were they like, you're just a, a major pagan? You saw it. They want to kill my kids. They want to kill me. They want to kill my family. Yeah. It was bad to hide for 45 days. Yeah, bodyguards and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Oh. You had to hide for 45 days? Yeah. Where what the fuck is? That's, that's why you saw me crying on TV. But they would have killed me. Sorry, my brother, man. Sorry, bro. But you saved the world, though, bro. You saved the you, world. Yeah, you brought two people together, man. You fucking saved the world. You saved the world. You saved the world. Did you give uh, Kim, like, about, like, Donald's biographies to Kim so he could yeah. understand him and stuff like that? Yeah, he didn't even know a thing about Donald at that time. I just gave him the book. Okay. He said, oh, yeah, 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 okay, great. He didn't even know anything about Donald at the time. That was, mm. like, four years ago, like, about three years ago. Yeah. And um, he just he started reading the book, and then he started to like him. Imagine, yeah? Look, that's so dope. Like, if it weren't for you, yeah? Forget Trump. Man thinks Trump's a dickhead still. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> but if it weren't for you, there'd probably be a World War Three. I think he's the only reason why he's not sitting down there with saying, I just pressed this motherfucker. You know? <laughs> but I like Dennis. I, I love Dennis. No, that's, that's, that's funny right there, you know, a lot of people say, if, like I said, if you don't know Donald, man, you think he's the fucking biggest asshole on the planet, you know? I know Donald very well, man. He's, he's cool as fuck. I think he's a racist, too. Yeah, they think he's a fucking racist, too, so... I, but he said, he said, he has said some mad stuff. He had a casino. He said he don't like black people holding these money. I never heard that, so I don't know anything about that. No, but slightly, though, you're being a bit of a Toby. Why are you defending him when he was really disrespecting the man them for? I, I, With great I, power I, I, comes I, I, great responsibility. I, like I said, I don't get into politics. I said, I never get into politics. That's not my job. I do sports. That's it. I'll get into that shit. That's uh, Kaya West, whatever his name is. He does that shit. What's his name? What's his Kaya? What's his name? Kanye West. But Kanye West. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He's one of my no friends. I don't want to say his it? fucking name. Yeah. <laughs> you still speak to him? You still yeah. friends? No, I'm you got him on WhatsApp and stuff. So it's like what <laughs> <laughs> it's just like it's just Kim Jong un right? People think he's he this this bad guy. And I was telling people, I said, if you root a country that your dad gave you you inherit when you're 20 years old, would you be the most stupidest guy in the world to sit there try to endanger your people, to try to bomb anybody? I wouldn't. There's no fucking way I'm sitting there and take all my people out just because I, want to, I hate that person. Mm. We always talk about that. We always talk about that, man, him, Kim. We always talk about we said, I ain't gonna do no shit like that. He just want peace. So what, you got like a freeway call? Hold on, hey, hey, what I'm saying, Kim? Hold the, hold the line, hold the, hold the line, hold it, one second. Hey, That's Trump, hey, what I'm saying? Don't, that, like, I know you man been talking mad on Twitter, yeah? But listen, yeah, man's gonna set up the thing. Put the thing through, yeah? Okay. Cut, uh, yeah? Okay, you lot are linking up. See, that's what I'm saying, you man. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, okay, what are you like saying for local Nando's and that? Okay. <laughs> Boom. What man wants to know is that, Rockers, you was whapping Madonna, yeah, in the right. early stages. How did you and Madonna meet, basically, is what he's trying to say. <laughs> so I met Madonna in San Antonio. She called me many times. She has a big ass mansion in, in South Beach. So I go to her house, play in the pool, da da da. So we go. Get ready for bed. So next thing, I get a knock on the door. Um, Dennis, Madonna, want to see you. I said, great. So I got to go on there. So I sit in the bed like this, like this. And she's laying down. She said, do you like me? I was like, yeah, you all right? <laughs> so this is this I'm talking, right? You, you all right? She said, you don't want to do anything with me? I said, well, like what? <laughs> like what? She's like, well, you going, you know, should I go get another girl? I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? What would you just get? I never got your She said, well, just conform into the will. <laughs> I'm like, that's when she was, that's how she talked to me. You know, say, you know, do you want, it? you want me, you want me, you want me? I said, whatever, man, it's all good, right? So, you know. Is it true you wouldn't let, she wouldn't let you wear a condom? Huh? 
Is it she, she wouldn't <laughs> let you wear a condom? Oh, <laughs> hmm? <laughs> <laughs> what was that, Laura? <laughs> huh? What? <laughs> I, I got three kids, man. Three ex-wives, fuck. Then it's like, uh, like, you've had, like, an amazing life, you know? Yeah. And on this show, you know, we don't just do, like, normal life stories. On this show, we do life stories a little bit different. So, Dennis Rodman, this is your ghetto story. Run the track, It's please. a survival story. True ghetto story. This is my story. Story. We will get a story. Yo. Hey. Brimstone and fire. Fire. The only one who can judge us is Jaja. Jaja. Dennis Rodman, you a freaky brother. Brother. Dennis Rodman, you a freaky brother. Brother. Let me tell you about a man, Chicago Bhutan. Used to play him and MJ on NBA Jam. Five time champ, no five time champ. Bex that he's friends with that pussy boy Trump. Trump. No fiction, just facts. Bear piercings and tats. Weird air color. Married himself, Ross Clark. He's a weird brother. Weird bro. But you must respect how he skinned up Madonna. Madonna. Deal with it proper. Double team in the film like a real top shot up. Shut up. See his dog car, Kim Jong Un. Un. Madman G. Without Rodman, there'll be World War Three. When salute you, G. Car. <laughs> See you after the break when we'll be joined by Daisy May Cooper, Tan France, Stephen Dorf, and Getz. And tweet us hashtag the Big Nasty Show. See you after the break. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back, Dennis Rodman's here. Let's give it up for Dennis Rodman. Yeah. Now, Dennis, as well as a, as well as a basketball player, um, you also done some wrestling as well. Did you teamed yeah. up with like Hulk Hogan, Hulk Hogan as well, like proper old school, Rick, like when it was no, WWF. Ric Flair, yeah, Andy Savage, all those guys. Did you not get on? Because he, he's a little yeah. bit racist, isn't he? He's a little racist, like. Oh, he's not, no. No, nah, there's there's no, there's, no. He's, no. there's that recording, isn't it? Because no, I can't no. imagine. Because he seems cool. When it's like it's we got we got to face the Dudley Boys, brother. Come with me, nigger. What? 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 <laughs> 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 Turn this part, part boom, yeah. Hulk Hogan, yeah. Bro, see man like me, cuz. I love WWF, cuz. Million Dollar Man Tape. He, he made it. Hulk Hogan, he's caught on tape saying, Raw, I wouldn't want your daughter to be seen with an N word. Like, Raw, cuz. That's my hero destroy. That's emotionally hurting, cuz. Real talk, cuz. They kid. Bang you in your face, man. <laughs> People take the, the N word so fucking serious because you know what? When we, when we say it, it's like, it's like wow, it's, it's cool as fuck. I mean, if people, athletes, white athletes, they say it just, I don't, just because, just because. I don't take it too seriously, man. You know, if they say it out of contents, yes, I take it seriously. Yeah, but yeah. Oh, oh, we got a guest that's uh, gonna come and join us. Let's see who's joining us. We got the Tan Brands and Daisy May Cooper. Hello, Hello. Hey, dear, my man. How you okay? You nice to meet you. Hello, how are you doing? You okay? Good to see you. Lovely to meet you. Have a seat, guys. Have a seat. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank Thanks for coming so on. You guys both kind of like exploded, like within the last year or so, right? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, no, you have. You think about it because you know you've got the award-winning series, This Country. Okay. You have that. Can we get a little whoop whoop for that, yes. please? <laughs> <laughs> you know, which is massive, and you're on, you know, you're on Queer Eye, right? which was the yeah. third biggest show on Netflix as well. Can we get a whoop whoop as well, whoop, please? Whoop. <laughs> Daisy, congratulations on your massive success of this country, because it won a BAFTA as well. It did. It won a Thank BAFTA. You. Thank you very and, much. And you, you play Kerry. You play Kerry on the I show, right? I play Kerry, yeah. How could you explain the show? Well, think of bums and just put them in a place called the Cotswolds in sort of Gloucestershire area, just bumming around. Bums is the right word. Explain that. So... <laughs> no, seriously, explain that, just... So, like, think of that a bum. Do you bums. know what a bum is? Yeah, I know what a bum is. OK, the Cotswold is, like... The Cotswolds is quite nice, It's, quite, it's, quite it's nice. a posh area. In all seriousness, so we did, very early, early on, a pilot with NBC Universal. Mm. And one of their notes came back, which was, the cast is too ugly. Which is Shut really up. upsetting, because I was the lead. 
Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, they, they said that, yeah. So that was you, right? <laughs> that was you, right? Yeah. Cool. So you won an award for that. I won an award for that, yeah. <laughs> three, three. I thought you were three? Three. And you were a swindler out for that sick. I did, yeah. Cool. I still got worse dressed right. in the Daily Mail. It's not it's not dripping in sauce, but it's true to who you are. It is, right. yeah, in my heart, yeah. But no offence, though, Tan, yeah? Oh, gosh, what? Our guy from you, from Doncaster, and let's be real, Doncaster's like a main city or stuff, you've ended up smashing it all over America, bro, and doing really, Thanks. really well. Thanks. How did that happen? Instagram. Mm -hmm. I, uh, yeah, I was just some regular person, business owner, and then somebody contacted me from Netflix through Instagram and said, hey, we think you should be the star of the show. I was like, all right, let's give it a go. And I went on an audition and it changed my life. The show's only been out for a year, but uh, I know it's immodest, but we've smashed it. Like, we won Emmys last year, we presented at the Emmys last year. Like, it just, it became a global phenomenon, which is wicked. And you know, let me say this. Let me say this. It feels wicked to represent the UK on a global show, but it feels wicked to represent Asians on a global platform. Like, that feels super special, because usually you don't see that on American TV. You really, I've never seen a British Asian before uh, who's on a global show. We've seen movie stars. Third biggest show on Netflix as well. Make some noise for that, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can you understand what the fuck he's saying? <laughs> I must admit, no, so I must just, admit it, I was listening backstage and I couldn't understand about 50%. <laughs> I'm from here. Right, so mad, mad. I'll translate, oh, sorry. Right. Sorry, you <laughs> think nasty. You can't understand what I'm saying, no? <laughs> he said, can you not understand what I'm saying, yeah? No. So, Tan, what, is, what is the point of a French tuck? What, is it, what does it do? It, so Apart from just tucking in your shirt. It just makes it look like you've made an effort. You didn't just put on clothes, like you styled your clothes out. OK. And from, uh, from the side, it makes you look a little slimmer. OK. Better start tucking, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so the series drops on March 15th. It's a streaming service on Netflix, so you get the whole season on the same day. Binge it. Can, but, you, can you dress him? Uh, but we need to dress yourself, Bridget. <laughs> 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 Are you a country guy? You, where, where about you from in the UK? I'm from South Yorkshire. South Yorkshire? Yeah. All right, Doc, off the shop. Excuse me? All right, Doc, <laughs> off the shop. I told you. Off the shop, up, off up to the shop. Oh, I'm, I'm off to shop. <laughs> off to shop. You mean I'm off to what shop? What did you say? All right, <laughs> Doc, <laughs> up to shop. Oh, my God. <laughs> what does that mean? It, that <laughs> wasn't a Yorkshire accent. That sounded like you were having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're going for Yeah, okay. e Doc, I'm off to the shop. Yeah, e Doc, e e e shop. Yeah, yeah, I'm off to the shop. <laughs> there you go. Oh you got better in the end. You've got one of those American English accents, haven't you? I promise you it's not hey like Hey, guys, let's get some groceries. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what I sound like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How long have you been out in the States for? Yeah, almost 11 years. Oh, wow. So, that... so it happens. And here's the thing. It just makes your life easier if you start to use their words. Mm. Otherwise, you end up repeating things over and over again until they finally understand. So there's a reason why it had to change. Yeah, no, because they get very confused when you say things in they the States. They get, especially, they don't understand a Yorkshire. The, all they know is, like, a, a London accent. They don't yeah. understand a, a Yorkshire. Why is it when Americans, they think we speak like, hello, cheerio, would you I like know. a pound? <laughs> <laughs> we don't speak know. like this, you know? I know. Hello, my name's Mo and I'm from the Big Nasty Show. Okay. <laughs> 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 don't you can't understand me, Big Mo. Why don't you try English accents? Yeah, it sounds. Okay, I can do that. Go, go for it. Oh, no, you already fucked my lips up. No, 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 go for <laughs> it, go for <laughs> it. <laughs> 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 you, you, used to, you used to work in retail? I did. You, did you work retail too? No, I worked in, I worked in Levi's, I worked in Reese. I, did, I, I wanted to work in Zara, but everyone just seems rude in Zara. What's up with me? Yeah, so rude, man. Here's the thing. <laughs> Salina! Salina! <laughs> hey, <Johnny's> hand, please! <laughs> It's so busy, like, you can't... Uh, I, so, Zara, uh, Zara and Bershka are the same company. It's so busy that you don't have time to, like... No, but they're rude all the time. Excuse I me. Know. Have you got that in a lot? I know. Uh, Squank, can you just play a for our lunch, please? <laughs> <laughs> the sizes we have here, that's it, there's not more. <laughs> why, why are you shopping, man? Hey, Daisy, do you shop in Zara? No, I shop in Peacocks. I respect <laughs> <laughs> that. Practically, it the is great. It is. You just... It's, it's cheap. And it does sizes for bigger women. And it's cheap. <laughs> <laughs> What's the customer service like? Uh, uh, there really isn't any. You just sort of... <laughs> uh, there's usually just sort of one server, and then you put your stuff through, and they go, well, that's four quid. And you... <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Dennis has had some looks. Let's have a look at some of Dennis. Mm. Okay. What, what was what was what, going what, on here? What, what are you wearing? <laughs> so you left your house. He's like, you know what, bro? Man's gonna put the scarf on. <laughs> right. Actually, what, what let me put this mad hat on and go for Halloween. Is that a wig? <laughs> is that a wig you've got on? Tell us a bit about this outfit, Dennis. Only you know what was going What's on. What's the head here? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure out. That's ah. what I'm trying to figure out. What, what day was that? What day? <laughs> the day is irrelevant, bro. <laughs> what, is this? what do you mean, what day is it? What are you wearing, bro? <laughs> oh, man, hold on. Oh, it's a Friday. So on Friday. It's <laughs> 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 probably something bad. I don't know. Uh, I've got a lot of cool stuff. Okay, what other looks? See, can we get another look up? Any other looks? Oh, that's it. Yeah. Oh, that's that's that, that was iconic. That, to be that, fair, that was that, iconic. That, like, that, that was iconic, though. That and you a, saw that across the, the world. The way I've displayed this. Imagine you've been back then, yeah. you know, as you are today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What would you think about that, right? That, that move right there. Uh, it was Super Bowl. If that's who you wanted to be, that's who you wanted to be. No shame. Like, I, if, you, if that's who you wanted to portray that day, great. I Honestly, no shade your way. I, I thought you looked wicked. <laughs> Any other looks? Can we get another look up? Another uh, look? Hey, hey, Mo, you're rocking the same top. <laughs> <laughs> right. He's got your jeans on. <laughs> Daisy, is it true that once you accidentally auditioned to be a stripper? Yes, I did. <laughs> so when I was about 18 and I was living in London and I saw in this the stage newspaper, it said, you can earn up to... £500 a week, exotic dancing, which I thought, for some fucking reason, is going on cruise ships and dancing <laughs> with fruit on your baby. <laughs> <laughs> Turned up at this place called Sophisticats, and there was about 20 topless strippers in thongs with their arms folded, like, come on then, do oh. <laughs> And then they said to me, what is your stripper name? And... The only name that came to my head was Louise Redknapp. <laughs> <laughs> and they said, what song do you want to strip to? And I said, Ghetto Romance by Dab. No! Oh. <laughs> and I, did, I was stood, yeah, and I was on this pole, and they played the music, and it had just gone too far at this point. And I didn't know how to do anything, so I just took... <laughs> Top of my dress down, got my tits out and started snogging the pole. No! <laughs> That's it. I had a true story. Oh, that was so Crazy. Do you know something to make you feel better? All right, boom now, yeah? One time, yeah, this is where we're going a good like 10 years back, yeah? There was this thing up, some, some American porn stars came over, yeah? Mm. So my boy Beast was like, raw fam. We could get paid like five bills just to whack these two buff American porn stars. <laughs> like, Come, let's do this. You get me? I just got down to this place, cuz. There were no chicks, cuz. It was just dudes, cuz. Get the big one. Get the breeze out. Breeze out. <laughs> See you after the break, where we'll be joined by Stephen Dorff and tweet us at hashtag the big nasty show. See you in a bit. Welcome back to the Big Nasty Show. Now, Dennis Rodman, is it true that you once crawled five miles through a sewage tunnel just to get to the Dallas State Fair? Yeah. What? <laughs> we live in the projects, and um, for some reason, there was this tunnel that yeah. uh, all the kids used to go to and just, you know, just go to the flashlights and, and go to the State Fair. Oh, and we just wow. crawled, we just crawled, like, literally five miles. So you crawled through sewage, like uh, Shawshank Redemption? <laughs> What was so good about this fair that made you go through doo doo? We couldn't afford it. Couldn't afford so, it? When was this? So, what? 1926 or something? What's the difference? <laughs> mm -hmm, I sure would like to go on a roller coaster today. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, we've got a guest who's going to come out of our tunnel. Let's see who is. Who's coming? <laughs> Stephen Gold! Hey! Star of Cute Detective and Blade. What's up, Stephen? How you doing, man? You OK? Yeah, nice yeah, to meet yeah, you, man. Yeah, How you yeah, doing? You OK? Yeah, it's been a while, mate. Yeah, it's, it's been a while. Uh, hello, mate. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, God. We've got to make room. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so, Stephen, you are the star of True Detective and you've also been in Blade. Please give it up for Stephen Dorff, guys. Blade is a classic. 
It's a, yeah, man. And you knew Wesley Stats before the bankruptcy, cuz, when he was up. <laughs> no, before we were... The, 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 he went upset in life in time there, cuz. No taxman problems, cuz. He was yeah. living his best life, cuz. Yeah, he was rolling. So, Stephen, tell us about this new MMA film that you're, you're currently filming for at the moment. Um, well, yeah, after we finished True Detective, I did this film, uh, Embattled, which is kind of a family drama set in the, the world of UFC. I play kind of a an American version of a Conor McGregor style. So I worked with all these UFC fighters. I know, I know you're doing all that nasty, right? You're, yeah, I'm uh... trying to get in the ring for October. Well, why don't you get changed into your gear and show us? Oh, show us wicked. At the time, you can come into my dojo. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> 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 Rastafari stands alone. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen, you was a bit of a, a little bad boy back in the day, innit? In the 90s. You was a bit of a party animal and stuff. <laughs> you dated some hot women. You dated Pam Anderson as well. <gasps> yeah, a little short, little fling there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. You used to... <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that, is that Reese with a spoon there? Yeah, yeah. that's... Uh, we Reese were kids, we made Did you date Pam Anderson? No, no, no. We had a story, me and him. You got a story? Oh, it was in, uh, Tell us the story, big man. It was in Vegas at, uh, I think it's the, at the Hard Rock. Yeah. And, and upstairs in, in the room, in the, in the penthouse. Yeah, I remember, because we, we hung out. Yeah. yeah. She had a nice little partying downstairs, upstairs, stuff like that. You was in the corner, I was in the corner. Yeah. And, you know, so she wanted to leave you and come to me. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I wouldn't like that, no. But I was saying, he dated her for a long, for, for a while, and they... Only no, like, yeah, five months. Man, look at this. It was a good couple, so what the hell? So, Stephen, you're in the, the new series of True Detective. What is the premise of the show, for anyone that hasn't seen it? Um, well, this season of True Detective starts with a... Um, basically in 1980, and it revolves around three decades. So I star with Mahershala Ali, who's in the, in the show, and we basically are uh, investigating a crime over three decades about uh, missing children. <laughs> Southern accent there, boy. Yeah, hey. it takes place in Arkansas in 1980. Yeah, what's your and, uh, name there, boy? Hey. What's your name there, Steven Dorf? <laughs> 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 okay, Nasty's ready now. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Come on. Now, Dennis, you've done some WWF wrestling, so why don't you give Steven and Nasty some pointers in the ring and let's go to the cage. Let's go to the cage. Go to the cage. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I, I don't even want to be in this cage if I'm honest. Can I not do it outside? He almost took it out. He almost took it out. That was good. Too. Like, fuck off, man. <laughs> hey, Steve, you're in play. Run down the hall. Run down the <laughs> now, you know we're a different weight class, yeah, so, yeah. you know, and we fake it in the <laughs> movies, so, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I got no gloves. You're like a giant gobstopper, man. Fuck <laughs> off, man. Fuck <laughs> 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 off, man. Daisy, do you want to go in the ring? I'll take the lot of you on, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> All right, who wants to go first? Oh, uh, I want to go down this window. Oh, bare knuckle, mate. <laughs> go on, Jeff. Oh, 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 oh. Go on, girl. Hey, bro, she's got you. Oh, God, that's a good night. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. Daisy, you know what you're doing. Come on, Rob. Yeah, Daisy, yeah. Jesus. So, on, we're ready to go. Yeah? We're ready to go. Let's All go right. for it. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? Squeeze these nipples! What? That's okay, baby. Yeah. I want to invite some people in there to spit some fire with me, please. Make some noise for Devlin and Get. Yeah. 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 Welcome to my dojo. There will be no mercy in this dojo. Yeah. I will show no mercy in this dojo. 
come in a group or come in solo. I will show no mercy in this dojo. Many come to doubt if I was on the mountain, who's shooting in, studying hearts was shouting, bang the temple, set my brain on the outing. Bad boy talk, don't fly in this dojo. Submissions are ground and pounding. No counting, ask God, then full guard. Burst your head like the mountain. My sheep glitch the camera. Free k rock, build the stamina. Reflection of this age, horrendous crimes. On Balata, four apes and a whip. You don't banana split. Shit. Feel like the boogeyman's grabbing ya. Jiu Jitsu, the river back, attack the arm, leg and back. Luke in Ryan and Sensei Tag. Man's in stick like Ying and Yang. 313 AR began. Ninja Turtle got my brain and crack. Got explosive hands. Combo to the face, sound like Becky. Oh, cool, cool, bang. Oh, cool, six, six, six. Bojo, Sojo with the. Oh, cool, cool, cool with the back. After air, my dad's on land. Abracadabra, Abracazam. Level up, gang. Keep up, keep up, come on in. Come on, catch me if you can. Who ain't wearing what? I scare them off, some fairy mob. Trying to be with a clearly not. Want to breathe or there's a cop. You're getting beat with a slipper when I'm taking it off. Grind out a grind, man. Back for the line when I turn up. Give me an hour with a crock in. My dominion, I'm trying to be inside more brilliant. So I'm just rhyming a lot. Vision at me with an urban dictionary. Running rings round those that I come across. Grinding for lots, no less to be lost. But a guy that'll see, he gets what he wants. Looking up at a policeman's weapon. Not quite the guy, see him under the cosh. If I come back, I want to be a leopard. Why did I hurt that I'll change their spot? Creep on the rhythm like a spider, so this one's called Tarantula. I feel safe for the next generation of black R.I.P. Mandela. It's a mad girl, black boy, this and black girls, they're gonna black pill, but you couldn't handle her. What I'm fucked with, pangers and left. How goes the antenna? Hey, look at the blood clot back off. Ever seen a man take a step back in amazement and take his blood clot hat off? I'm a bitch of murder, a new ever come like it grew legs. Blood clot ran off. Everyone shut up till I bluff off, and I'll never forget shit. I'm half man, half man, I'm talking boy. Cut, cut, hard man off. After the break, when our guests will be doing their closing bars and tweet us, hashtag the big nasty show. See you after the break. <laughs> welcome back and let's welcome Gets. Can we all get up for Gets, everyone? Bop, 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 bop. Congratulations on a successful album, Gets. How do you Thank feel? You. It feels good. It's amazing. Let the nation know where they can still get that. Get old gospel still in your stores right now, but stores is old school, so just keep the streaming going. If you ain't got it already, thank you very much. I also heard that you've been uh, nominated for a National Film Award. Yeah. What, what film? What film was it for? Um, the Intent 2. OK. Um, on a break, on a breakthrough. Mm. So, glad it's good. Thank you. Yeah, my G. I was... Now, now, gets we like we. I would say we go back years. We go back years. Yeah, back. but like so basically, yeah. I used to do an impression of of gets how he used to spit, yeah. And I'll do the impression about like, gets on the scene. Come on, don't that. Words like when I work. So then this this story was so funny because yeah, I was doing this impression and I'd never met him, never met him before, yeah. And then once he tweeted me and he just said something like, you know, when like some, when someone finds something funny but they're trying to say, look. Stop it now, innit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was this show, right? So I get through the door, and Getz is there with all his entourage, innit? So I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's going on, Getz? What are you saying? You all right? And Getz done the most polite, stop doing it ever, innit? He, went, he put his arm around me, and he was like, yeah, who I'm saying, bro? I like, the, I like the impression what you're doing, yeah? But big man, you know you need to stop that still. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll stop that, I'll stop that, I'll stop that. <laughs> Still ain't stopped it. <laughs> well, no. People say we look alike, you know. Did people say that? Look, let's put our faces together. We look a little bit alike, you know. Look. No, Mo, you what are camera we're going on? right now. One, three, one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like we're doing a lineup. <laughs> I do, <need> Marie. <clears throat> No, big up. Please give up for gets, guys. Show us some love, guys. Yeah. <laughs> In a minute, we're going to have a special guest performance. But first, we're going to do some closing end bars right now. OK, then it's Rod, man, Rod, man, Rod, man, Rod. When I say broken, you say penis. Broken. Penis. Broken. Penis. When I say Dennis, you say Rod, man. Dennis. Rod. Dennis. Rod, man. Hey, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> No, uh, you got it, get it, get it. Go, 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 go. Okay, you're terrible. Go. Next. 
came on the show for the big man. I heard, Mo, you're a waste man. Heard your jeans are too tight, man. And you ain't hard, you can't fight, man. Thank you, Big Nasty, for having me on your show. Yeah. But there's something, Stephen Dorff, that I want you to know. That whenever I get horny and I want to have sex, my fella puts on the True Detective box set. True Detective! True Detective! Yeah. True Detective yeah. in our house is like a fucking contraceptive. How long is this series? Yeah. It goes on for hours. It's got more bloody twists than the Ryder Alton Towers. Go, girl. He don't even want to do me up the rear. I'll just fuck off with Rodman to North Korea. I promise you, Stephen, I'm not a slag, but can you tell us the ending so I can get a shag? Okay, all right. Thank you to our guests, Dennis Rodman, Tan France, Daisy May Cooper, Stephen Dorff, and Gay!